Back to help inspire your Christmas decor this year, let's welcome the Kelly Clarkson Show art director, Kate Taylor. Give it up! Hi. So what concept did you choose this year? So this year, we're gonna go for a snowy Christmas. Love. I think lots of snow, icicle, frosted moments. It's your second year in New York, so we're yes. gonna give you a good old fashioned, snowed in Northeast Christmas. Okay. I would like fun. that, because last year I did not get that. Whatever yeah. New York. Listen, yeah. I can't speak to what will happen outside, but yeah. inside, it's gonna yeah. be great. <laughs> okay, let's get started. <laughs> So the first way we're gonna achieve this look on set is by using flocked trees. Yes. So a tree is flocked when it has a light coating of snow on the branches. Mm -hmm. This year we're partnering again with our friends at Balsam Hill and they've sent us a bunch of beautiful flocked trees. You can see all the varieties behind me. Yeah. And here we are at our frosted Yukon spruce. Now this is gonna be one of our hero trees on set. And I love this tree because it's so realistic with these heavy branches and the snow. It's super pretty. Now you can flock a tree yourself, but I'll be honest, it's you could. really messy. But why do you hate yourself? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. it's a lot easier to get it already done and take it out of the box. Hey, Amen. Yeah, right? We pre lit, pre flocked. Well, that's yep. it. <laughs> we all need less mess around the holidays. So yeah. this is my first tip. <laughs> Choose yeah. the easy road. Absolutely. Okay, let's move on to ornaments. What's going on here? So this is one of our dressed hero trees on set. And first I want to talk about color palette. So we've chosen blue, whites, and silvers this year to mm -hmm. hit home on the snowy feel. But the thing that I love about choosing an untraditional color palette is that you can leave your tree up for months. And honestly, like that's my happy. I love to come home and turn my Christmas tree on after a long day in the studio. Yeah. And it's so nice and fun. And this way you can leave it up and it just doesn't feel overtly holiday, but it gives you that wintry fun look. You feel less trashy keeping it up. Year that's around. right. Yes. That's right. Yeah. That's I got exactly you. right. I got you. All right. <laughs> So now I wanna to talk to you about how you should hang the ornaments on your tree, the best way to decorate it. So yeah. most people sort of put a layer on the outside of their tree and call it done. But I wanna encourage you to dress your tree from the inside and work out, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right? So I like to start with a layer of glass balls and I hang them all the way inside to the trunk and you fill in any gaps and you kind of work your way out. And then your next layer, you start to put in some of these really beautiful hero ornaments that you wanna make sure everyone sees. And your final touch is to add all your delicate ornaments to the end of the branches, like these snow clusters, these that look like icicles. It just allows for much more depth and you get a much fuller, better finish. Mm -hmm. And it looks like a decorator tree. Yeah. Who doesn't want that? It's the so easy. The snow grapes are my favorite. Yeah. That's what I call those. Those look <laughs> like snow grapes. They do. Yeah. <laughs> when you go to hang your ornaments, I want you to encourage I want to encourage you to wire your ornaments on your tree. Now, everybody always thinks that this That's is complicated. School. It is, but it is the better way, I promise you. Yeah. It's really simple. All you have to do is get a thin gauge wire from your local craft store. And you just twist it really simply right on to your ornament. Yeah. Wrap it on your branch. And I like to wrap it in one direction, either toward the front of your tree or toward the back of your tree, because it makes it really easy to pull off when mm -hmm. you are finished. You grab the ornament here at the base mm -hmm. and you just unwrap it, pull them off, you put them in your bin, save them. Oh my them god, last I was year. like hoping They're that did up. not work. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's so flawless it and you really can't get is. it off. It's <laughs> easier. It seems yeah. intimidating, but this is the best. No, way. it's how I grew Especially up. Especially again, it. if you have yeah. kids and pets and yeah. somebody's gonna run into your tree, it's yeah. much safer this way. It's also great if you have heavy ornaments. So yeah. I think it's the best tip. All right, let's move on to ornaments. And over by my favorite trees. What? So my last tip is Look what do you how do? Look does this not make your Isn't soul she? happy? I know, Look at and her. I love these ones. I love, I, that's what I'm saying, yeah. They're so fun. Okay, so what are we doing here? So when you have leftover ornaments and you never know what to do with them, now I've encouraged you to wire them up. So it's really easy to add them into your garlands mm -hmm. or your wreaths. So I like to start the same way that I start with a tree and start with a nice layer of colored balls. Mm -hmm. And you can just tuck them in, wire them right onto your wreath, good and steady, because remember you're gonna eventually put this up, right? Yeah. And then I like to get some fun ornaments, especially if you're gonna do this project with your kids. Yeah. Pick some that they like. I love these little polar bears. They're you know, adorable. nestle those in, wire them on. You can wire on a pretty bow. Yeah, and I like your stages too. You said doing this one night and then putting it on the next night. Yeah, it's yeah. fun. This is a great project to do yeah. with your kids. And then all you have to do is hang it on your front door and you're ready to start your holidays. All right, I love it. Great job. Thank that you. was amazing, yes. All right, give it up for Kate and to our friends
friends of Balsam Hill who have the most realistic true to nature Christmas trees and decor. You can order online and have Christmas celebrations delivered for years to come. And be sure to check out Rockefeller Center's Après Skate Chalet, uh, presented, you're welcome, America, <laughs> uh, presented by Balsam Hill, where each chalet is decorated with a different holiday theme. And they overlook the ice skating rink, which is so beautiful. We're gonna be right back with what I'm liking.